Only the best barbers in the world get to be Barberstop franchisees. Not sure if you've got what it takes to succeed in a one-chair barbershop? Stay tuned. In this video, you're going to learn exactly what you need to succeed in a one-chair barbershop kiosk. Hi, I'm Barber Joe Sexton. Since 2013, I've been in the business of helping barbers get out of those low-paying chair rental traps and into barbershop franchises of their very own. If that sounds good to you, you're in the right place. Click the red button below to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon. That assures that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a brand new video. The purpose of this video is to answer this question. In terms of your haircutting skills, what exactly do you need to be successful in a one-chair barbershop kiosk? Over the years, we've identified three things that separate successful barbershop franchisees from all other haircutters in the world. I'd like to talk about each and every one right now. The first thing we look for is a real barber school education. Now that barber education can't just be from any old school. What we have determined is that the best barbers come from real, honest to God, barber schools. Now I'm not talking about a barbering certificate from a cosmetology school. I tell you, I have met dozens of them, I've interviewed dozens, and I've auditioned dozens. They are not real barbers. If you don't own and use a set of tools that looks like this, you are not a real barber. We do not award barber stop franchises to cosmetologists. This is another good check on your status as a barber. If while at barber school you were taught how to use a straight razor, chances are that was a great school. You are probably a barber. If the school that you attended did not teach you how to use a straight razor, then you are prohibited by law from using it. Now, a straight razor face shave is one of the most popular items that we offer as barber stop franchisees. So, doesn't it stand to reason that if you can't legally use a straight razor, you also can't be awarded a barber stop franchise? So, you've got to know how to use and you have to be legally able to use a straight razor. Very important detail. So, first thing we look for, a real, honest to goodness, barber school education. Very important. What's the second thing we look for? Well, that's an easy one. With a barber school education, it should be a very simple jump to get a valid barber license. The second thing we look for in a good barber stop franchisee is a current and valid barber license. The barber license need to be current and valid in the state that you intend to cut hair in. Very important. It's important for you to realize that all barber stop franchisees are in fact licensed barbers. Before we talk about the third important thing we look for in barber stop franchisees, I have a couple of easy questions for you. My first question is, What's the name of the barber school that you graduated from? Second question is, in what state did you go to barber school? Please put those two pieces of information down in the comments section of this video below. Thank you so much. And here is the third thing that we look for when we look for a potentially great barber stop franchisee. We need proof that you can actually do all the kinds of haircuts on all the kinds of hair that you're going to be asked to do by our customers. So why is that important? This is why. The whole idea behind the Barber Stop franchise success is that we're going to put you in a situation where you're cutting hair in the presence of lots and lots of foot traffic. You're going to translate lots of foot traffic into lots of haircut inquiries and hopefully lots of haircuts. What happens if you can only do every third or every second or every fourth haircut inquiry that comes your way? 
this is what's going to happen. The word on the street very quickly is going to be, seems like a nice person, has a fabulous location, but just not that good. <laughs> so, you see, you, you have to be able to be really good at cutting hair, and you have to do all kinds of hair on all kinds of people. How do we get that proof? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, the first two things that we look for are going to help a lot. If you are the graduate of a good accredited barber school and you have a current and valid license, that tells me a lot. But the other things that we're going to consider are the pictures of the haircuts that you do. Perhaps you'd like to send us some videos of the haircuts that you've done. After finding out where you go to barber school, we're going to talk with your instructors. We want their opinion of the kind of work that you did in school. If you have a good relationship with your current employer, we'd like to talk to your current employer about the work that you do for him or her. And the last part of that proof, if possible, we would love an opportunity to talk with some of your current customers. There's nothing like hearing it from the source. If you're good and you know you're good and they know you're good, they're going to share that with us. That will mean a lot to us. So there it is. Now you know what we look for in a potential Barberstop franchisee. Now, earlier in the video, we flashed that list of questions on the screen. I know you didn't have time to take a look at those. Don't worry. We put all the information from this video into a very handy one-page handout. If you go to the description section of the video below, you can download that right now. It includes everything we've talked about here, the three important critical things we look for, as well as that list of all the haircuts that we would expect you to know how to do very, very well. Go get it now. It's free. If you make the business of barbering as important to you as the art, I will help you get a Barberstop franchise of your very own. Call me soon. Thank you.